In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this t-shirt design within just five minutes using Photoshop and Vexels. And the reason I'm talking about Vexels today is because they've actually got a limited time sale for Halloween going on from the 27th to the 31st of October. During that time, you'll get 43 or up to 43% off their annual licenses and their lifetime licenses, which is the one that I purchased a few years back and I'm really happy with. So basically, if you head to their site, the, the sale should be live now. It only lasts a few days, so take advantage of it. It's Q4 right now, so it's the best time really to invest into tools because you'll see the most return during the Q4 months. If you're not sure about Vexels, if you're not sure how the site works or what the, the benefits are, what different tools they offer, I did make an in-depth video walking you through the site. So I highly recommend watching that if you haven't seen it already. They've got some really cool features, lots of high quality professional graphics. There's a, a mock-up generator, which is one of the best within the print on demand space, in my opinion. And you can also submit design requests, which are really cool. And I use them all the time where you can just submit any idea that you have and their professional designers will create that t-shirt for you. But right now I'm going to show you how to create our design today very quickly and efficiently. So let's get started. So first of all, what I did to start off with this design idea is I just typed into the search mask up here on Vexels editable t-shirt and when you type that in you get a ton of Photoshop templates that Vexels brings back and anything you see here are designs that you can basically input your own text into very very quickly and that way save a lot of time designing. So let me show you an example this is one that I've downloaded before and used in the past you can literally where it says editable PSD file you can change that text and Photoshop Shop and it will update the design and you've very quickly come up with a, a really cool like floral pattern with animals so this is really handy for trends if you want to quickly enter a trend with a unique design and really stand out in search results and that's definitely one way I've used that in the past scrolling through as you can see right here there's so many different effects and styles that you can very quickly access I really like this retro vibe one text does look really amazing and I've used tons of these in the past and they do work very easily let's go ahead and find the one that I wanted to show you today which is this one because I really like these sort of floral designs and um, the border one right here looks cool as well all you have to do is just click download wait a few seconds and it will download the PSD file to your device and then once you've opened the file in Photoshop this is what it will look like we can just turn off this top layer right here which gives you a few instructions and basically go ahead and edit this text right here the white letters by clicking, double clicking on this thumbnail over here. I'll just select all of this and say, um, best mom vibes, which is just a random idea. Just need to make this bottom bit of text a bit smaller so it doesn't bleed off the edge of the app board. And then once you're done changing the text, just go ahead and click the X right here make sure to click yes so it actually updates everything and voila it's very quickly changed uh, design right here now if you want to turn off these little bit of text layers down here which are not really relevant to us you will have to open up this group within the layer panel where it says subtitle and footer just hide those two layers um, another thing that i noticed is that the flowers especially this one right here over the m is hiding the letter a bit too much so just click on that flower and move it around you can see that the the top one is also being moved right there um, you can move it to the side basically just play around with the design elements as we can see the the shadow even moves with the flower up here so you can really customize this very very neatly and make it look professional still you could also turn different elements on and off or move these flowers around if you wanted to have them in a different place overall you also get the option first of all have option one hidden if you want to see a different variation of the design and then if you click on option two we can see right here that uh, this one the nice one with the border opens up i would probably say move this flower around top left probably looks best so that's it so that's it for option two you also get a third option right here but in my opinion the first one we had does look best i'm now also going to select that group hold down Control t on my keyboard and scale this entire design up a bit bigger so it actually fills out the entire canvas but as you can see that's taken like no time at all and i've also explained to you in more detail what else you can change so um, if you use these templates on vexels 
Uh, you can literally within like 10 or 15 minutes create, I don't know, at least five designs that look really neat, really unique and professional and stand out in search results. I'm going to show you another few examples on screen of other templates that I've used so you can get a bit more of an idea of how powerful these templates really are. I hope you enjoyed this video and you found this tutorial useful. One thing quickly that I forgot to mention at the start is that everyone who signs up to Vexels during this Halloween sale will actually get an additional mystery box item. This can apparently be extra graphics bundles, extra files or extra design requests which is something that I really wish I had because I usually use up all of my requests at the start of the month and then have to wait until the next month which is really frustrating but uh, yeah that's definitely something to to bear in mind and take advantage of and once again if you want to see a more in-depth walkthrough of vexels.com to help you weigh up your decision of whether you want to go for them or not then make sure to check out this video next where I walk you through how to browse their site for graphics how to use their mock-up generator t-shirt maker and other features